Hello everyone, this is James from Living Gardens Homestead. Uh, we just went to uh, the feed store where we buy our uh, uh, hog and uh, chicken feed. And we was going to get a bottle of penicillin. Anybody that owns a farm knows that animals that you got on the farm when they get sick, uh, a lot of times you use penicillin to uh, uh, make them better. And uh, <clears throat> I didn't know, unless I just got my pants caught with my pants down or what it was but uh, the feed store told us that they didn't have any penicillin and uh, well anyway I sit in the vehicle my wife go, usually goes in and buys the stuff but uh, she came back out and told me that uh, the uh, manager there told her that the FDA has now said that uh, feed stores and stuff cannot sell the penicillin or anything. The only way to get it is to go through a vet. Now, we all know how expensive vet prices are, and how many of you have uh, been like me and you take care of your own animals? Well, uh, we was needing a, a bottle of penicillin because ours is uh, old and outdated that we've got in the fridge. And uh, so we decided we was going to get another bottle. Now, you don't only treat farm animals with this. We, we treat our uh, uh, dogs, our cats. We, we treat everything whenever it needs antibiotics or, or penicillin. And uh, I don't know why the FDA is saying that we can't buy it anymore. But uh, be aware, you need to go and get you a bottle of penicillin if you can find it. Uh, we called, uh, uh, Rural King. Rural King don't have no penicillin. We called a tractor supply and, uh, they said that, uh, they only got eight bottles of penicillin in the past two or three months. And, uh, they weren't going to get any more in because of this, what I guess they passed. And, uh, they said the only store they knew of was this other store that we just now stopped at and Jen's in there now to see if they've got any penicillin. And uh, uh, it's not looking good. They're, they're shutting down everything that we can take care of ourselves. Uh, I, I guess they don't want us raising any animals either so that we can feed ourselves. They want control us all the way around. People, be, be aware. Be wise. Uh, now, I'm sitting here waiting. I hope that uh, uh, they're right and maybe this store had, has some penicillin so we can at least get a bottle to do us for a while. Uh, you know, we've, we've got cats, we've got dogs, uh, we've got our hog, uh, you know, we've got things that we need to, uh, take care of if they get sick. Uh, I don't know why they're doing this. It don't make sense, uh, unless they're just trying to control us. Uh, look around your area, uh. Uh, you, you, you people that's viewing this right now, is this affecting you? Have you, have you found any penicillin lately? If not, I'd suggest, because I haven't heard much about this, I would suggest you go to your uh, local feed stores and stuff and see if you can find you some penicillin to put aside in case you need it. Uh, now, I'm going to wait here a few minutes and see if uh, Jen come out, uh, will come out and, and, and have a, some penicillin. And I'll let you know, uh, hopefully we can get some, but I'm telling you right now, I'm warning you, go get you some penicillin if you've got a farm and you've got animals. Uh, those of you that have homesteads and you've got animals, you know what I'm talking about. We, we do need to take care of them from time to time when they get sick, and they're taking away our ability to do that. Uh, I can't afford uh, for, to, to pay a veterinarian to come out they're starting to treat our animals like they do us. You can't get your medicine unless you see a doctor and pay him money. Now they're doing it with the animals, and we can't take care of our own animals. But uh, hopefully she'll get a bottle, and I'll let you know if uh, she does or not. All right, Jean just got back out here to the vehicle out of the store. Uh, uh, guess what? No penicillin. Uh, Jean... You care to tell tell the people what you were told? I went in and I'd ask the lady that was in there. I asked her if uh, they'd had any 
uh, any kind of penicillin or anything like that. And she told me, she said, no, she said, they didn't have any. What was gone, she said, was gone. And she said they probably wouldn't be getting no more in. And that uh, from here, the FDA had stopped everything. Uh, and from here on out, people was just going to have to start taking their animals to the vet. And I told, asked her if she knew of any stores around that I could go to and maybe find a bottle. And she said, no. She said, not that I know of. She said, good luck if you do. She said, but I highly doubt you find finding any anywhere. So that sums it up. So we're just getting shortened day by day on everything that we can do to protect our farms and our animals and anything else. I mean, it's just getting to where we're just having to totally rely on the government and paying out what little expenses that we don't have for big expenses just to take care of our farms and our animals, which is something that we've been trained all of our life to do ourselves. that now we're going to have to start going and relying on other sources to do for us which is not right, but anyway, I just, I don't know what we're going to do if, if our government doesn't change, and as the ways it's looking right now, you know, if people don't get off their ass and, and do something and start voting and trying to get things to change, then we're going to be in a world of hurt. We're already in a world of hurt, but it's going to get down even worse than what it is now, and Right now, I mean, we're just starting to see the effects of everything, and just like even our animals, as of now, you know, our animals are going to have to start suffering because, truthfully, if you're like us and a lot of other people that's got farms, who can afford to pay a humongous vet bill, seriously, over something that is just as simple as needing a shot of penicillin to make your animal better? I mean, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, uh, all I've got to say is, if people don't start doing something and trying to take our country back, then you know we're gonna we're gonna be in a, we're already in a world of hurt. It's not we're gonna be in a world of hurt. We're already in a world of hurt because we're just getting every right we've got stripping from us. I mean, even right down to what we can go to and buy. You know, it's like you know what we're gonna do get out here and overdose on penicillin or get high off from it. You know, I mean, let's get real. It's just a control issue with our government is all it is. Yeah, against. but they won't stop the drugs coming in the border. It's illegal. No, no, but if you want to go out here and get some fentanyl, you know, help yourself. It's everywhere. But, you know, try to get out here and get some penicillin or amoxicillin or anything like that for your animals. You know, God forbid. Next thing you know, they're going to be taking the darn wormer off the shelf. I probably shouldn't have said that because now they will. But, I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous how the drugs just flow in left and right. But yet, here, you know, you can't even get, uh, get medicine for your farm animals. I mean, it's getting right down ridiculous. But, you know, God have mercy on us. You know, I mean, it's just, next thing you know, we're going to be turning into more like a third world country. Because we're going to be living by dictators, the way it's looking. But... I mean, I'm just one of those people you just really don't want to get me started on this issue. It's a good thing James does the majority of the videos because, I mean, I just, I'd be lighting people up just to be right down truth with you about it because I can't stand this crap because there's just no sense in it. And, and I was raised in politics. I know politics are dirty as they can be. I know. I was raised in it. And I'm going to tell you one thing right now, just like, just like with my dad, he was into politics. Oh, and it was dirty. It was dirty. I sat and watched the, the ballots be filled out all night long when I was a little tiny girl. My mommy would keep the coffee cups uh, filled of a night and <laughs> for all the men and women that would come to our house and every dead person they was in Lincoln County was voting. That is and the people that went to check the ballot boxes the next morning was dim was my dad was a Democrat. They was Republicans, was supposedly Republicans, but they would be a Democrat registered Republican. Oh yeah, that ballot box is empty. Oh sure, and here it was stuffed to the brim, and them know it and just laugh, chuckle, and shut her back and lock it, and you know so be it. And hands never did change. Same people stayed in office ever since I could ever remember, and I'm over fifty some years old. But I'll tell you what, I mean, it just, it goes on people. People say that they don't, they don't uh, cheat on these politics. Buddy, let me tell you something. Your eyes are painted on, if that's what you really think. Because like I said, even when I was a young girl, probably four years old, I've watched it done. 
I've watched the ballot boxes be hid right at the foot of my mommy and daddy's bed, covered yep. with a sheet. Jen, let's let's stop it there. We don't want to overstep our bounds, <laughs> and YouTube shut us down. But anyway, people, uh, we we're just trying to make you aware of everything that's going on. Uh, we, we try to help you with the, what little knowledge we have as far as gardening and hydroponics goes. Uh, this, this is concerning to me because now uh, we're, we can't even treat our animals that we have on our homestead. They're, they're stopping that. So this is all by, by design. People are trying to make it to where we cannot make it on our own, and we've got to be dependent upon the government. That's what they want. That way they control us. Uh, you know, I know you all uh, are smart. Uh, you all have uh, watched my channel. You realize I'm not out to, I'm not out for any reason other than to uh, help anybody I can. And uh, I'm telling you now, if you can get out to your store and find you some penicillin for your animals, you better get it now because it's it's getting you can't get it and uh, that's one of the main main uh, medications we use on our animals if they get sick and I've saved a many an animal by using penicillin so if you can go out and find it uh, leave uh, your comments down there in, in the comment section what you think about <laughs> hey, this is the first I've ever heard of this but uh, anyway they're stopping us from being able to help our animals now and uh, my goodness, I never thought they'd do that. But and, anyway. And if you get two, and if you can find two bottles, buy two, and we'll buy one off from you. <laughs> and we'll pay for the shipping. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, people, if you don't care, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. And uh, we'll try to let you know whenever anything's happening. Uh, <laughs> Uh, because we want you to know. I'd want to know. I wish I'd knew this before I found out because I could have prepared for it, but now it's, I think I'm a little too late. But anyway, like you all, love you all. You all be good. Take care of yourselves and uh, come visit our channel when you can. Thanks a lot. This is James and Jen from Living Gardens Homestead. Thank you very much.